Today, we're diving deep into one of the most talked about cameras of the year. The Nikon Z82. Rumors, leaks, and early reports have been flying everywhere. But what's actually true? What can we realistically expect from Nikon's next powerhouse mirrorless camera? And the biggest question of all, is it really worth waiting for? In this video, we'll break down everything we know so far about the Nikon Z82, from its rumored specs and performance upgrades, to real-world expectations, pricing, and how it might compare to the original Z8 and Z9, whether you're a photographer, filmmaker, or just a Nikon fan curious about the brand's next big move. This video will help you decide if the Z82 deserves a spot in your camera bag, or if it's smarter to buy now. And skip the hype. Welcome to my channel Tech Launch. Subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon for the new tech updates. So grab your coffee, hit that like button, and let's talk about Nikon's most anticipated mirrorless upgrade yet, the Nikon Z8 II. When the name Nikon appears in the mirrorless camera world, many photographers immediately think of rugged build, professional-grade performance, and a long history of precision optics and imaging. Among that lineage, the Z series has emerged as Nikon's mirrorless flagship ecosystem, with full-frame bodies, cutting-edge autofocus, and glass to match. So when rumors began circulating about a model called the Nikon Z8 II, photographers and content creators alike asked, what will this camera deliver? Does it warrant the hype? And if it arrives, how does it stack up in the current market? In this video, I'll dive into everything we know so far about the Z8 II, what the expectations are, where there are questions, how it might compare with its predecessor or rivals, and what you should consider if you're thinking of waiting for it or buying sooner. To understand where the Z8 II might sit, we must look back at where Nikon is in its mirrorless roadmap. Nikon's Z-mount system was introduced with full-frame mirrorless bodies that signaled a shift from the DSLR era, emphasizing speed, image quality, and a lens system built for the future. Models like the Z6, Z7, Z62, Z72, and especially the Z9 have set the pace for performance, ergonomics, and features. In that mix, the original Z8, released earlier, carved out a strong position by offering many of the Z9 level features in a more compact, somewhat more accessible body. The Z8 appealed because it brought serious stills slash hybrid performance, stacked sensor technology, high resolution and fast output, without the full flagship price and bulk of the absolute top tier. In that sense the Z8 II is expected to carry forward that spirit, leveraging the strengths of the Z8, addressing some of its compromises, and stepping up in features to match or beat the competition. Because mirrorless camera development is accelerating, with rivals from other brands challenging both for stills and video functionality, Nikon's timing and feature set for AZ8 II matter. The question is, will Nikon choose incremental improvements, or will they leap ahead with major generational changes? And for each photographer, worth it will depend on your priorities. Resolution versus speed, stills versus video, price versus future-proofing. Based on rumors and Nikon's own roadmap, the Z8 II is likely to feature an upgraded sensor-slash-processor combination. The original Z8 already uses a stacked sensor derived from the Z9, which delivers fast readout, high resolution, and excellent high ISO performance. For the Z8 II, expectations include possibly a higher megapixel count, faster readout speeds, improved dynamic range, and perhaps more efficient